2020 was supposed to be a banner year, a year now defined by a global pandemic. The NBA is suspending the season. MLB spring training, NHL regular season, March Madness canceled. It will forever be known as the day sports shut down. While sports across the globe go dark, Dana White says the show will go on for UFC. Why is Dana White comfortable continuing? Dana White is somebody with a flawed intelligence. He ought to be ashamed of himself. More doubts this should even be attempted. There's still a medical danger here. Really negligent decision making to make a buck. There was an article in the New York Times today that was very critical. I don't give a fuck. It seems dangerous and it seems foolish. There's no way to make a sporting event safe. There's no way to 100% guarantee the safety of everybody. We don't dictate the timeline. The virus is the one in charge here. This isn't something that should be happening. So many risks involved in this. There's no way they come out of this completely unscathed. This whole damn idea is reckless. Dana White's legacy, pay me, even if I put you in serious and potentially fatal harm. Lining your pockets with money is yeah. more important than the safety of the production staff and the people you have fighting for you. You can't make it totally safe, and it's all fun and games until someone gets this thing. You're not listening. It is purely green. This is totally negative for mixed martial arts in the UFC, and I'm not sure it's one that they'll get over for a while. Dana's way off here, way wrong. The virus forced businesses across the country to close their doors. The global fear of COVID-19 as cases around the world continue to grow. I'm not afraid of the media. Why should anyone listen to the media? Who are these people? What makes them experts? What have they ever accomplished? They criticize me for even trying to find a way forward because it's easy to criticize from the sidelines when you risk nothing and do nothing. But we need to fight this thing. Instead of panicking, let's find solutions. Is it feasible that UFC could go off in a month? I don't see how. Three fight cards have been announced in Jacksonville. On our way to Jacksonville, baby. If the UFC or any of these organizations want to go to Florida, that's a recipe for disaster. No matter how hard you try, you can stop us now. I've also secured an island. We're going to do all of our international fights on this island. No matter how hard you try, you can stop us now. Dana White devised an insane workaround. The UFC is apparently building a facility on a private island that they're calling Fight Island. It's such a stupid idea. I don't really have any trust in them making it something that's marketable or cool. We're going to do everything above and beyond to make sure that everybody is safe. He's saying his fighters will be taken care of. However, White does not care if there are sacrificial lambs for the betterment of business. The media said I was risking people's health to line my own pockets. I didn't do this so I could make more money. I have plenty of money. I did this so my fighters could make money and my employees could continue to make a living and feed their families. You can see that no expense was spared as far as making sure that we're safe. Will you be willing to pay pay-per-view money for something that shouldn't even happen? Our events were successful in every way, shape, and form that an event can be successful. I'm proud of my crew. We pulled this thing off. That's what we've always done, and that's what we're going to continue to do. Even if you believe they're taking all the precautions, it's still a very high-risk scenario. There's just no way to completely eliminate the risk that someone could get sick. The media are not in the news business. They're in the clickbait business. They think negativity sells and gets clicks, so that's what they deliver. Negativity is their product, but I'm not going to let that stop them. Anytime there's great success, it's surrounded by negativity. But here's the reality. None of the media people know anything about this business. A lot of people did not want this to happen. But what we're really good at is proving people wrong. That is what we do at the UFC. Dana White releases a video about um, the whole journey through the, the whole pandemic.
This guy uh, documented every single <laughs> reporter, every single podcast. This guy went to 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 the YouTube, filtered right <laughs> by by upload date, and went through every single video to see. Video? Yeah, I think he tweeted he tweeted it out. Uh, Dana White. He went through every single video that even mentioned the UFC took out a clip and posted into that video where uh, they he's basically trying to show oh all these media people try to uh, to put me down put the UFC down try to try to take away from what we were, were what we were doing they didn't believe in us and look now look, look at what happened and he's <laughs> it's basically he's basically um, cheering himself on he's he's saying how um, even though everybody told me I couldn't do it, I still did it. And you see this theme uh, quite regularly through through like the media appearances that he does and, and all the other interviews. He always likes to mention like uh, that, oh, people thought we couldn't do it. People thought we couldn't do it. They told us not to do it. It was not safe. Well, it's true, and man. look what we And we're, we were better than, we were uh, have better percentages uh, of negative results than than all the other leagues. Look at the NBA. How the NBA um, instantly had like what was it like twenty percent positive um, uh, like results coming back. So I get it. Like data, we you know, get it. This guy did damage, bro. Like with that whole thing with Khabib and, and Gaethje, that like catapulted every day uh, with Costa and Israel. Man, like he did really well. Like in this whole pandemic so far. He's pushed all these yeah. guys. Got so much. Yo, actually, if you see the, the fight with Costa and uh, and Israel, had the most interactions, right? So yeah, no, no, I I understand. Like the, the he he was able to uh, t- take this pandemic and actually uh, somewhat figure it out before any other league was was able to to figure it out around the world. He was able to. Uh, do testing is able to keep people uh, people away from each other keep people safe and put on events when nobody else is putting on events so (laughs) yeah yeah they they flew them out (laughs) so they he was able to do all these things that nobody thought that he was able to do now to tell the media like oh you guys didn't believe in me so these media guys are not medical professionals okay they (laughs) just know uh, they just know what they know (laughs) No, my, my point is is that these guys are, are MMA journalists, right? They talk about MMA. So for you to put so much weight on their opinion on what to do and what not to do during a pandemic, I, I don't think you should weigh it that much, right? Uh, a lot of times people on these podcasts and all these interviews are, are obligated to, to make some sort of comment, to, to say, uh, to come out and say, yes, the UFC is doing something good the UFC is uh, doing something progressive uh, for the sport and the world um, in the time of a pandemic is, is very very difficult to, to ask from from these people you like nobody knew anything uh, about this, these viruses nobody knew um, how bad it's gonna be is it gonna develop into something bad so uh, to, to put that much pressure or that much like um, weight onto these these MMA media people. I think it's 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 a waste of time. Hey, hey listen, yeah, but you know one thing though. We on the Sprawl podcast, we remain neutral. You know, we don't talk crap and we don't talk good. We no, talk like it, it, it kind of favored Dana as well. The, like the pandemic. Like yeah, the, the the bad thing about this this virus is that it's um it spreads very quickly. That's mm-hmm. the biggest difference between all these other ones that we've had in the in in the past. <laughs> The positive thing that comes into play for Dana is that the uh, survival rate is very, very high. It really affects people that are uh, that have not the, the that have compromised or not the best immunity, at, which includes um, elderly and then people that just have medical conditions. Mm-hmm. So knowing that, you also realize like, okay, um, he was able to do this because this virus won't really affect um first of all it won't really affect your fighters that negatively if they get it okay send them home they'll 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 recover these these guys are elite athletes who um have like are taking the best supplements who are training day in day out they they are healthier than your average person or i hope they would to be right (laughs) that's for roy nelson (laughs) yeah (laughs) no no roy nelson don't Anyways, so, um, 
So that 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 bodes well for him. Um, the thing that he did good was that he prevented uh, or he was able to control infection rates. So he was able to um, prevent his fighters from getting infected once they were uh, confirmed non-infected when they reached like the bubbles. So that's what's very very good that he's did. Oh, yeah. In ter- in terms of like the the virus itself, he's very very lucky that this pandemic involved a virus that wasn't that deadly. If it was a if it was a virus that was say like uh, the death rate was like 10 20 percent then it gets a little dicey what yeah. played in his favor that, that he needs to acknowledge uh, in these videos and whatever it may be is that this virus is not that deadly the, the bit the biggest issue is infection rate and once you have a high infection rate you risk uh, the chance of uh, people that are very very uh, immune like have bad immunity to this this virus to get sick so, he also so, he he started like this whole thing with a bubble, right? As in the like, UFC Fight Island and then the performance center. So, I mean, you got to give it to him, you know. That's a yeah, yeah. So I, I give it to him. His ability to 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 get people that are negative and prevent them from getting sick or infected any further is very very good. Yeah. Like uh, I'll I'll give it to him. No, but to expect these these MMA guys to be uh, medical professionals and <laughs> and and to go uh, uh, to go above the curve and be like, oh guys, no, UFC knows what they're doing, right? That's that's very 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 that's a big ask to 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 have of them. There's some guys who did say positive things. I think DC was was talking about Fight Island way DC. back and saying. DC, <laughs> tell these guys <laughs> Dana White's Dana White's, Dana White's going to be like in his next interview. DC, tell these guys, <laughs> fight my island. My boy is love, bro. My boy is love. Yeah, but I, like leave the MMA media alone. He said that he's going to get retribution or something. I don't know what, <laughs> oh what's going to happen. Uh, bro, we have he, to relax with our comments too, huh? And we can't be too controversial. Let's just uh, yeah. Let's let's hey, let's be low key. Yeah, so I, I don't really care, man. I'm not a medical professional. He can do whatever he wants. These, uh, <laughs> what other what the other thing that really uh, benefited um, Dana White in this situation was that there's no union body for for the UFC fighters. These guys are all independent contractors. What that means is he can basically do whatever he wants. He has a lot more freedom than say the NBA. The NBA couldn't just the reason why it took so long for. Uh, a bubble for them to to, to to happen was because there's a union body that has to go, NBA, okay, PA. what's the best thing for, for our fighters? As opposed to Dana, where he has so much flexibility. Flex, flexibility. He goes, makes these relationships himself with uh, Abu Dhabi, with the, the, he already has the Apex Center. Uh, and then he just says, okay, fighter, do you want to do this? Yes or no? If they say yes, okay, they come in. If they don't want to, they don't fight. Right, it's he 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 has very a lot of positives, a lot of things in his favor that helped him do this that other guys wouldn't be able to do, wouldn't be able to do.